It's time for another wild time. We're just outside Tillamook, Oregon, off Highway 6 along the Wilson River, and it's a very warm day. It sure is. We're going to share some of what we've been up to and what we have planned coming up in the near future. We've really been enjoying ourselves in the Pacific Northwest. It's just been absolutely beautiful, and we've had a lot of fun. We're about to move out of the area, but more on that later. Since we were in Oregon during the eclipse, we decided to drive a few miles so that we could get into the center of the uh, totality of the eclipse and actually experience that. And it was, it was quite an experience. Yeah, when we heard people saying, you know, well, 99 point whatever is good enough, uh, we started considering that, but we thought, oh, well, it's, we're, we're in Oregon and it was uh, close to where, uh, what, we were like 40 miles away mm -hmm. from where we could do a little bit better and at least get a couple minutes of uh, totality. And as we were watching the eclipse when it was about 99 point something and there was just a little sliver of the, the sun uh, outside of the shadow, it uh, it really, I, yeah, I wasn't it, that impressed. I'm it not. Was, it was still really it, light and yeah, it really it, didn't it seem had like that, that much. <laughs> like a uh, blue cast and kind of uh, dusky looking and, and shadows everything. shadows got and, really cool, but. And we had our glasses on and as we were looking, then all of a sudden we couldn't see with the glasses any longer. So we took them off and wow, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what an experience. Yeah. Amazing. It was, it just, it gives me chills still just to think about it. What, yeah. what it looked like when you took the glasses off and the, the crickets were chirping and the stars were out and yeah the stars was... became visible <laughs> uh, the wind came up a little bit got a little chilly yeah it, was chilly. Uh, yeah, it just it just kind of felt like night and just at that time just instantly there was this like 360 degree sunset just about it was just amazing yeah it was I... really beautiful so if you're ever in the path of an eclipse 99.9% .9 will not do it you have to be in the center of totality so that you can experience at least a few seconds or a minute or two of that because it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, we were actually in the town of Dallas, Oregon viewing uh, out, outside of the town in, on, in the middle of a farmland that had a 360 uh, horizon around us. So it was a really nice uh, view. And uh, I guess the next one's supposed to be in uh, in Dallas, Texas, yeah. we'll experience 2024, it. 2024, they'll yes. cross through Dallas, Texas. So maybe we'll be there then. <laughs> Dallas, Oregon to Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Who knows? But anyway, I was able to get a halfway decent uh, shot from that. And uh, we, had, we had fun. We were there with some friends and they were happy to come along. John and Christina, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to them. Yep. <laughs> we had Great a good time. time. Mm -hmm. There were some other areas that we planned on visiting and doing videos, but unfortunately we were kept out by wildfires. There's about 18 fires burning in Oregon right now. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's been pretty bad. We'll have really to circle bad. back around and get <laughs> yeah. some of those areas. Uh, other than the videos that we already shot, we really wanted to do some more in, in the gorge and a little bit of uh, eastern Oregon just on the other side of the Cascades, but uh, due to wildfires, it, we, it just wasn't safe to be in there, and, and, and many of the areas were closed. So it, it was uh, very uh, smoky, and um, uh, we had ash all over the Yeah, the, the Eagle Creek it, fire was uh, right in the Columbia River Gorge. It's, a, it's still burning. It's, it was a horrible fire. We had ash falling like snow. Uh, smoke was just terrible, and the Eagle Creek area is just a beautiful area that we've hiked several times and it yeah, came awfully that. close to Multnomah Falls. Uh, so it, it's just been a, a really bad uh, wildfire season. Yeah, check out some of our other videos like our Columbia River Gorge video if you yeah. haven't seen it. And that gives you a little bit of idea of what that area is like. But we really had some other cool things planned that we were gonna do in that area, but just not this time. So yeah. next time around, we'll, we'll hit it then. As always, when getting ready to head out a little bit farther, uh, we have to do maintenance. And so we did a thorough inspection. And when looking at the tires, we uh, noticed they were getting uh, quite a bit worn. We got, had about 48,000 miles on them. So we figured we should go ahead and just change them all out. So we got new tires all the way around on the truck. They look uh, so pretty. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the tires on the, uh, RV on the fifth wheel are still holding up very well. Got good tread. Uh, we 
be replacing them soon, but they still can go where we're going. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, one of the things that we did. We put deaf in again. We always fill up yeah. with deaf before we head out of uh, civilization. <laughs> And let's see, uh, there was a vent that needed uh, some fixing. Uh, one of the sewage uh, vents, pipes on the, on the roof, needed to put something on that. Touched up the clearance light issue. And what else? Mm, uh, just always lubed slides and doors yeah, and all just those kind of things. Just the Going around, doing the rounds, getting everything ready to go. So we are getting ready to head out towards first Eastern Oregon and then down through Northern California and Nevada, so we will be following the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, and we'll shoot videos along the way. And we're also gonna start putting extras on our Patreon site, so you might wanna check that out. The Patreon site will basically be uh, sharing content uh, such as pictures and articles and video clips that don't merit a full-length uh, video, but that are interesting nonetheless. And it seems that, like we're always coming up with those types of things and we're thinking, wow, I wish there was a way to just share those really quick. And so Patreon's gonna be the place for that. There's also some opportunities to uh, talk with us on the phone or Skype with us if you want, that type of thing. Anyway, you might wanna just head over there and check it out. Yeah, and don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out that Patreon page. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.